What's up guys, my name is Talhan, you are watching Gadgets Sphere. In today's video, I am going to give you my first impressions about the Arrow OS Android 13 for the Poco F4. So first of all, as you guys can see, this is the Arrow OS. And the number one thing which I like about this custom room is the app opening speed. Like they have really optimized the app opening speed and this video is always in 60 FPS. So you can get an idea about the speed as well. But just look at the app opening speed. It is instant. Just as soon as you tap and there you go. Just tap on YouTube, there you go. So the app open speed has improved a lot for this custom room and that is a very nice thing. And overall, you know, switching between apps, everything is just very quick and simple and nice. So that is what I love about this custom room. It's very nice in terms of the app open speed and other stuff. Now, if you go in CPU Z, you guys can see we have a lot of specifications. We have the Snapdragon 870 and, you know, a lot of other stuff. But most importantly, your device recognizes as a Poco phone rather than, you know, a Pixel phone or any other. So that is also a good thing. And in Geekbench score, I haven't tested the benchmark yet. But do note that in the full review, I'm going to do it. So yeah, that is going to be quite interesting. Now, let's just talk about the general, you know, extra features of this custom room. So if you go in this setting and you guys can see we have a lot of stuff here going on. And my favorite one are actually these features. We have the extra dim that is a very nice feature to be honest and then we have the caffeine mode i mean that's a quite you know quirky features a new feature so if you go here and tap on extra dim you guys can see the screen brightness can go even lower than the original actual supported by the poco smartphone so that is one thing but i don't think anyone should do this so i can just turn it off and increase the brightness and then the other one is the caffeine one now what this is is it basically re reminds you that within five minutes you have to you know drink a coffee or something like that it's a quite you know unique feature i kind of like it but many people who don't drink coffee aren't gonna understand this then we have a lot of new you know new things in this custom room and the most important part is the battery optimization like literally i have installed this custom room two days ago and still there are two days of battery left and i haven't used a smartphone but still the battery backup standalone is also very good and 108 gb of free storage comes out of the box after installing a few games obviously like just this many apps so that is a very nice thing and one more thing which is very good about this arrow os is it comes with a pre-installed camera app it isn't a google camera or anything fancy but the fact that it has a normal camera app which works and does the job is pretty nice and the camera app is obviously trash it isn't the best and the quality you are not gonna get is not satisfactory now let's just talk about the smoothness and the scrolling now once you scroll in the google feed you can actually see this custom room is very smooth it is the smoothest of all the custom rooms i have tried for the poco f4 so that is a very nice thing in terms of smoothness no problems at all and then if you scroll in youtube you guys can see it is always at 120 hertz because many people have actually complained in the past that scrolling on youtube is not the smoothest it is not you know 120 hertz sometimes it goes below 120 but this arrow os has none of those issues and in terms of light gaming like playing apps and games like these stack you know obviously there are gonna, aren't gonna be any performance issues so this is working perfectly fine and in terms of the haptic vibration i found this not to be the actual best it's just okay but not the best so that's one thing i think in the earlier room which i was using the pixel one the vibration was very strong here it's just you know a normal vibration so you can get an idea like it's not the best here but earlier that was actually really good so in terms of vibration it isn't the best but overall i think this is a great custom room most importantly for those who want a light room doesn't want a ton of features but wants the actual functionality of the room so this is a great room for those and the dark theme you can turn it off and it's looking awesome now one more thing i wanted to tell you that is you're seeing these lines on the display coming up and down that is just due to the difference in the refresh rate of my camera and the smartphone there is nothing like this in real life and one more suggestion i would like to give you when you install this custom room for the first time and that is you can scroll down and you will get an option called colors right in this colors option you have to tap and you have to tap on saturated or boosted now these are the two only color options which make your smartphone look even better the saturated or the boosted one because if you're going to install any other color option it won't look that good and yeah it won't be that good now in terms of the cpu throttle test as i told you i'm gonna do it very very soon i haven't tested it i haven't in fact even opened the app yet so 
that's the thing but if i just start right now you will get a normal general idea of how good the performance is so yeah it is like it is so it's like 270 224 221 so yeah, this is the general idea, but obviously I'm going to do a 15 minute full on test and then I can tell you about the things it has. And here on the toolbar, you guys can see we have the screenshot option. You can easily take the screenshot. You can edit the screenshot. And now this editor is straight from Arrow OS. Now, to be honest, it doesn't look that good and polished like it was in, you know, the pixel room. So that is one thing. And yeah, it actually doesn't look that polished. It's quite hard for a new person like me to use. So yeah but it depends upon your taste how well do you like it and that's pretty much it i think it's a pretty good custom room the first impressions are pretty positive and the best part is it has a good combination of smoothness battery life and performance these are the fundamentals of a good custom room this has it all so what do you think are you gonna install it and test it out or you want to wait for the full review and see how does it actually perform in these benchmarks that's it hope you like it i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching peace out